State Road 674 in Waimama is finally open following the investigation of the more than nine hour hostage situation that ended with the Hillsborough County detective killing the suspect. FDLE, they have now taken over the investigation. They are working to identify the body of the man the suspect is accused of killing. ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton has more. State Road 674, the hub of Waimama, shut down for most of Wednesday because of a hostage situation. Sheriff Chad Cronister says it all started around midnight. He says the suspect, 43-year-old Juan Sarmiento, called his friend and asked him to come by to help him take out the trash. We're not showing Juan's picture because he's no longer a threat. The trash that his friend wished him to dispose of was a deceased male victim wrapped in plastic in the back seat, laying across the back seat of a car. Instead of helping, that friend allegedly made up a story, then called 911. And deputies arrived, and they say things quickly intensified. According to the sheriff, the suspect barricaded himself and his girlfriend in the shed. Attempting to rescue the girlfriend, deputies were about to break in. Not knowing what's on the other side of that door. Up until the point where this erratic, profanity-filled individual also stated now that he was armed. At that point, they had to retreat, do a safe distance, from the shed. The standoff lasted for more than nine hours. The suspect's family came out to the scene trying to get him to surrender. You know I love you, and I know that you love me too. Please surrender. If you don't want to do this for yourself, do it for her. Do it for your kids. Your whole family showed up out here because they love you and they're worried about you. Do this for them. Finally, the sheriff says one of the SWAT members saw him through a window and took a shot. They rushed in to rescue the girlfriend. It's because of this SWAT operator's actions that she is now safe and free from any further harm. The suspect was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. FDLE has now taken over the investigation. J.J. Burton, ABC Action News.